Warm-up activities are a great way to start any English class, and the best ones can be done again and again without any long explanations or setup. And the acrostic challenge is a perfect example. I'm Will from Enchanted DSL, and in this video I'll explain what the acrostic challenge is, give some examples, and then say how you can get the best out of it in your classroom. So first of all, what is an acrostic? Acrostics are poems where the first letter of the first word of each line, read vertically, spells a new word. Here's one I wrote. Something truly helpful, under the video, button changes colour, so why not give it a go? Click it now, you won't regret it right away before you forget it. Ideas and games coming straight to you. Be a pal and hit subscribe to Enchanted ESL. Now, coming up with a poem like that is far beyond the ability of most English students. So the acrostic challenge only requires them to think of one word that begins with each letter, and they don't have to rhyme. For example, we could use the word pineapple. Write pineapple vertically on the board. I like to do this before the class, so students, when they come in, they can see it, and if they've done the activity before, they know exactly what to do. They don't even need me to prompt them, they can just walk in and start doing it. In this case, they'll write nine words, one for each letter of pineapple. They can do this on some scrap paper or a mini whiteboard or in their exercise book. For example, pen, ice cream, nice, elephant, animal, potato, penguin, look, and eat. Any repeated letters must have a different word, so they can't just write pen for all of the P's. Give them a few minutes to do this and then get them all to share their ideas with the rest of the class. And you can write the best ones on the board. So this is the simple version of the game. Let's make it a little harder. This time, we're going to use the word transport. And now, instead of writing whatever word they want, each word has to be related to the topic of transport. For example, train, ride, airport, near, ship, passenger, off-road, rail, and tram. As you can see, some of these words are quite advanced, and in some cases your students won't be able to get all the letters. And another slightly easier version is where the acrostic letters don't have to be at the start of the word, but can be anywhere within it. So for transport, we could have train, car, airport, van, bus, helicopter, automobile, ferry, and boat. All right, now we know how to do the activity, let's talk about how to use it strategically. One way of doing it is choosing a random word for every session. This works really well with new words that students are unfamiliar with. They'll spend quite a lot of time looking at the word, and when you tell them the meaning, it'll stick in their mind. Alternatively, match the words to the unit you're studying. So if you're studying food, you could use words like asparagus or mayonnaise. This way you subtly add some useful vocabulary. You can even use it as pre-assessment elicitation at the start of a unit, by putting up a word and then seeing what students can come up with. Continuing our food example, you could write the word grapefruit and see if students can think of foods starting with those letters. If they struggle, provide some new words or let them look at a dictionary or translator to come up with some of their own. Then you can add those words to a vocabulary bank for learning later. Then at the end of the unit, you can use the same word or a different word and see what they've learned. Compare it with what they had at the start and hopefully you can see they've built up their vocab. By now, this is no longer a warm up. The elicitation and review will take longer than just a few minutes. And you could turn it into a project. Think of a phrase or sentence with as many letters as students in the class. Assign a letter to each student and get them to come up with words that start with that letter. They can draw that word, colour it in, cut it out, and then you combine them all to make a big acrostic for the classroom. One activity I've done with a smaller group is assign each student a letter from the word English. So one student would get E, for example. They draw a big block version of that letter on a sheet of paper and then fill it with lots of words beginning with that letter. So the student with the letter E writes things like elephant and eat and elevator inside their big E. Then you can put all of the sheets in a row, stick them on the wall or take a nice photo. There are dozens of activities you can do like this. So tell us about the ones you've done or the ones you plan to do in the comments below. And while you're at it, hit the like button. It really helps the channel grow. Thanks. Your students may find the acrostic challenge a little bit easy. If you have upper intermediate or advanced students and want to challenge their spelling skills, I recommend you play Countdown. It's fun, free, easy to learn, and I've made a video about how to play it right here. So go check it out. But for now, I've been Will from Enchanted ESL wishing you all the joy and success in your teaching. See ya.